that scripture, uh, Romans 14, 11, one day every knee shall bow. How would you interpret that word knee and every tongue? Tongue and knee. Well, this is first before I comment on it, let me just, let's just look it up in the original language. I, I, my simple translation, my mind says it means about opinions. That's what you constantly, because I read your book, How to Control, Take Control of Your Life, and I'm thinking that knee must be ungodly justice. Well, the bowing, <laughs> the bowing of the knee mm -hmm. it is, um, uh, it, it, it is a sign, it is sort of like the raising of the hand in that it's kind of, a, it's a sign of submission. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so anytime you start talking about submitting you know, to the Lordship of Jesus, it, it really brings in a whole, mm -hmm. whole lot of different stuff. I mean, here the word knee is just, in fact, the word knee. It, you know, there, uh, as far as the word itself, there's no, there's no big mysteries there. Mm -hmm. But what, what you have to look at in a, in a situation like that is you have to look at the, the, uh, what it meant, what it means when you bow a knee mm -hmm. to a superior being. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, when a, you know, when, when any person came before royalty, came before a king, the, uh, you know, the, the lesser bows to the greater. And so, so, you know, it, there's all these general concepts like, okay, if I'm bowing my knee, I am acknowledging that I am the lesser, you're the greater. Now, then that all gets into your word is the final word. Mm -hmm. You know, how you see it is how I've got to see it. So it gets into all of that, even though literally it's just talking about mm -hmm. the lesser acknowledging the greater and, and you know, the, uh, the word confess mm -hmm. is an interesting word. And for a lot of years, I mean, I taught properly what it meant, but I didn't really realize from the Greek how that what I was teaching about it was so deeply rooted in the Greek because the word confess is a compound word. Mm -hmm. And the two words, one means to say the same thing and the other one means the logos to say the logos and so so to confess that he is lord that is to say the same thing that he says the same thing creation says in other words it is acknowledging because see logos i, I love the logos concept you know because with logos think about every word that god said and just kind of think about it. if you took every word that God said and you just put it in a big bag and you just threw it up into space and yes. all of these words are out here floating around. Yes. Well, if I'm, if I am in the log, if I'm speaking the logos, mm -hmm. then it has to harmonize with every one of those words. Mm -hmm. There cannot be a conflict. If you, if, if any one word that God ever said is in contradiction to any other word that God's ever said, then it's not the logos. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. So, so the person is bowing down, they are confessing mm -hmm. what all of creation acknowledges, what, you know, what all the demons have to acknowledge, what every angel has to acknowledge. They are acknowledging the logos of, of which is he is Lord. He is mm -hmm. supreme. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that would be where I would kind of come from that if I was teaching on it or sharing on it, that sort of thing.